Welcome. Welcome everyone to VBS. Uh, Wilderness Escape. Uh, it is our first night of this virtual VBS experience. It's going to be an exciting week for all of us. And we are so very glad you're here. This week you'll journey with God's people in the wilderness and we'll learn more about their experience. We'll learn more about that story, the Israelites and all the adversity that they persevered through as God used a guy like Moses to save God's people. Friends, I'm Pastor Nat Bothwell. I'm the pastor here at Bethlehem Lutheran Church. It is uh, our pleasure to welcome you to this uh, VBS evening. Uh, the chat session, I don't believe that's functional uh, this week. We thought it might be because this is uh, content for kids. YouTube disables the chat feature. So we're going to be asking for God sightings. We're going to be asking for uh, pictures from home, uh, any silly selfies you want to take as your kids are experiencing uh, VBS this, this summer in this way. And the best way to get those pictures and God sightings to us will probably be by email. And you can email the office at admin, admin at slaterblc.org. We will show uh, a video, a wrap-up video to the Bethlehem congregation on Sunday. And we'll make that available also um, to our friends at Slater Sheldahl UMC. And Pastor Padma is here as well this evening. She'll, she'll be leading, or at least opening and closing uh, tomorrow night. Our story begins this evening as King Pharaoh has reluctantly allowed God's people to leave Egypt. After years of holding them captive and making them do a whole lot of hard work, this is where the Israelites' journey begins, a road full of wilderness and the hope of a new land, a land that God promised. Moses is trusting God to guide and provide for his people every step of the way. Kids, make sure you have your activity bags handy at various times throughout this week. We'll reference those bags and the things they contain. Tonight's adventure is about to begin. Let's pray. Dear God, like Moses and the Israelites, we trust you every step of the way. We trust this VBS journey to you, even though it looks a little different this year. Guide us in this time together and help us hear the good news of your near presence with us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I'll check in with you in just a few minutes. There are a few really important introductions that we need to make this evening. First, how about a song? This one uh, you'll get to know, I think, by the end of the week.
Well, hello there. I was just visiting with the tribe of Asher tonight. Israel has 12 tribes. These are the descendants of Jacob's 12 sons. We'll check in on a new tribe every night as we navigate the wilderness this week. I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm your tribe leader, Lori. Imagine being in the wilderness. It's a lot like camping or going to the park, but it's a little bit more rustic. All week long, we'll get the opportunity to visit with Moses and hear about his adventures leading God's people. Moses led the Israelites through some really hard and scary times when they had to trust that God was right there with them, looking out for them. Today, we'll learn that God is with us, so trust God, and that is today's Bible point. Whenever you hear someone say the first part of the Bible point, God is with us, so... You get ready, because now here's your part. When we say trust God, we're going to be pulling on a rope. And trust God. So here we go. God is with us, so trust God. You got it. Now every time we say that, you do the actions. Here's a short video. Wasn't that fun? God is with us every step of the way, so trust God. 
Good job. In the Bible, in Psalm 16:7, it says, I will bless the Lord who guides me. That's our verse for today. It's another way of saying that, thanks be to God or give credit where credit is due. God is always near and ready to lead us, even through wilderness places. Let's use these actions to help us remember the verse. Raise your hands high for I will bless the Lord and both hands out front who guides us. I will bless the Lord who guides us. Hey, look in your activity bag now. Find your day one envelope. Inside that, you're going to find a chain and a day one memory maker card. Put that together. You may need some help from a parent because they're kind of hard. But every day this week, you're going to get a new memory maker card to put on here. When we feel small and unimportant, powerless to change things around us, always remember that God is with us, so trust God. Well, will you look at that? It's time to head over and see Moses at his tent. We're going to meet the big man himself tonight. Tribe, I'll be back in a few minutes, but Moses is expecting you, so go ahead and get on over there. I told you guys this was gonna be fun. So you've just met our tribe leader, Lori. She'll be with you the entire week. You've already learned today's Bible verse from Psalm 16, and you've even learned a few new moves, right? Well, prepare to meet Moses. We're headed there next, just a little further. His tent is up just ahead. I'm glad you've come to join us Israelites. I don't recognize any of you. Are you Egyptians? Well, whoever you are, you've come at the right time. This is history in the making. We Israelites have been captives in Egypt for more than 400 years. Such a long time. But that's all over now. God is leading us toward a new land, a land of our own, a land that God promised long ago. It's finally happening. It hasn't been easy for some of our people since we left Egypt, but God is amazing. God leads us by cloud during the day and by fire at night. Day and night, we know that Yahweh is there. God is with us. So trust God. I'm glad to meet people who trust God too. Come on. Join us as God leads us just a little further. Moses, Moses, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I stopped and watered my camel and I was afraid that I lost you. It's impossible to know where you are in the desert. Nothing but sand as far as the eye can see. Sand in my nose, sand between my toes. Anyway, I'm glad I found you. Hello, Malachi. I want to introduce you to my new friends. No time, no time, Moses. I have important news. We're in big trouble. While you've been leading us back and forth all over the place. You mean while God has been leading us. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, while we've been wandering around in the sand, Pharaoh changed his mind about letting us go. His army is coming after us. We're in big trouble. Don't worry, Malachi. God is with us, so trust God. Moses, didn't you hear me? There's an army coming after us. I think I can even hear the horses now. We need to run, Moses. We're going to be fine. I keep telling you, 
God is with us, so trust God. I knew we should have stayed in Egypt. Why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? Why did you make us leave Egypt? Malachi, God allowed us to leave Egypt. Don't be afraid. We're being provided for every step of the way, just as God promised. Just be still and watch what God does next. Welcome back to the Asher camp. Moses led God's people through some really hard and scary times when they definitely had to trust that God was right there with them, looking out for them. During our journey this week, we've included a few activities that you can do at home, on your own time, and remind yourself that God is with us, so trust God. Today's activity is all about a bug. Please look in your envelope for day one and pull out your bug. Have you ever watched a bug crawl around? Some wind this way and that way and they grow, go in crazy directions, changing directions all the time. In the Bible, God's people may have felt the same way, like they didn't know what to do or where to go. Often I feel like that, do you? Sometimes we feel like the Israelites did when they felt small and unimportant. The next time you feel that way, maybe you'll remember today's verse from Psalm 16. I will bless the Lord who guides me. I will bless the Lord who guides me. You see, God is always near, always hearing us, always moving and leading us. But it takes faith in God's activity in our life to see God's activity in our own lives. So before I go tonight, I want to talk about God sightings. No, we can't see God like we see our family or our friends. The Israelites couldn't see God either, but they were able to notice all the things that God was doing around them to guide them and to provide for them, even in that wilderness place. God hasn't stopped doing these things, you know. I want to track God's sightings this week. Watch for God tonight. Watch for God's work when you wake up in the morning and throughout the day tomorrow. When you have a God sighting, write it down on a foot. Those feet are in your bag. And then tomorrow, have your parents email us or call the church and let us know. We would like to add your foot to our God sighting wall. We're hoping to fill that whole wall with footsteps this week. Well, tribe, that's a lot for one night. Our time is almost up. But we'll see you again tomorrow. We met Moses tonight, we, and we'll learn more tomorrow about how, he helped, how God helped the Israelites. And when they were with Moses and God's people all through those so many years ago, God is with us still. So trust God. Well, friends, it's time to say good night uh, for this first installment of Wilderness Escape. There's a lot to look forward to this week, and we'll, we'll see you again. We'll see you again soon. Right back here on this YouTube channel at 6 p.m., Pastor Padma will open things up and close things tomorrow. Uh, this is a, a shared love of your friends at Bethlehem and your friends at Slater Sheldahl UMC. 
Uh, we could not imagine uh, not having this time with you this summer. And so thanks for turning out. Thanks for being here. Your participation at home uh, is super important. Send us those pictures. Uh, send us those God sightings. We're just getting started. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for this time together. This opportunity to learn about you. Thank you for your faithfulness in every difficult and scary place. Thank you for today's activities and helpful reminders. Keep us safe tonight and bring us together again tomorrow for more fun. Um, open our eyes tomorrow for your presence and all that you're doing uh, every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good night, everyone. Our wilderness journey continues tomorrow night right here on this channel. Join us. Bye for now.